In previous session, we studied thermochemistry part. In that, standard enthalpy of formation, standard enthalpy of reaction, standard enthalpy of combustion. We studied that part. Now, in today's session, we are going to learn bond enthalpy. Consider one reaction. Hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas decomposed to hydrogen atoms in gaseous state. The enthalpy change during this reaction is 436.4 kilojoule. It means that this much amount of energy, this much amount of energy is required to break this hydrogen-hydrogen bond. Means that is this bond. That is the bond enthalpy this is the bond enthalpy of HH bond is 436.4 kilojoule per mole. Okay, that is here one mole is taken. Now, then what is the definition of bond enthalpy? Bond enthalpy is defined as the change in enthalpy required to break a particular covalent bond in one mole of gaseous molecule to produce gaseous atoms or radicals or atoms and radicals that is the called as bond enthalpy okay next now consider one more example cl2 gas cl2 gas dissociated decomposed into gaseous Cl atoms. Here, the change in enthalpy is 242.7 kilojoule. It means that the bond enthalpy of CL-Cl bond is 242.7 kilojoule per mole. Consider one more example, SCL here, SCL in a gaseous state, now decomposed into H atom in a gaseous state, Cl atom in a gaseous state, the change in enthalpy for this reaction is 431.9 kilojoule, means bond enthalpy of SCL, that is bond enthalpy of H. CL bond, this bond, okay, is 431.9 kilojoule per mole. Okay, see here, if you observe this, all are diatomic, two atoms are present in there. Okay, these are diatomic. Okay, next. Now, if you observe this, reactions then in that atoms are produced and you studied the enthalpy of atomization these reactions are nothing but the formation of atoms in a gaseous state from the gaseous from the molecule in its standard state that is enthalpy of atomization you studied this one okay that is these all are Enthalpy of atomization reaction. It means that for diatomic molecules, the bond enthalpy is same. That of enthalpy of atomization. Okay. That is the enthalpy of atomization of H2 is this one. Bond enthalpy of HH bond is this one. Okay. Now let us see polyatomic molecules. That is containing more than two atoms. Now let us see bond enthalpy for polyatomic molecules. Consider one example, water. Now we require one mole in a gaseous state. It is decomposed into gaseous atom as the two hydrogen atoms in a gaseous state and oxygen in gaseous state. The change in enthalpy for this reaction is 927 kilojoule. 
okay then see here that is this much amount of energy is required to break this two oh bonds in the water molecule actually these two oh bonds are identical but the enthalpy change or the energy required to break this bonds these two oh bonds are different now let us see that one now first consider breaking of one bond that is suppose this bond breaks then gives h and oh that is oh in a gaseous state and this h in a gaseous state the change in enthalpy for this reaction is 499 kilojoule okay now consider the second bond breaking of second bond that is this oh okay this is the first step this is the second step two bonds are available therefore two steps are there breaking of first one bond and then in second step breaking of next bond now this bond breaks that is this one gives o in a gaseous state and hydrogen in a gaseous state the change in enthalpy for this reaction is 428 kilojoule that is this two bonds are identical okay but the enthalpy change that is bond enthalpy is different for this two this one and this one is second one okay now consider the find out the total of these two that is here oh as it is formed it reacted okay that is h2o in a gaseous state gives this o gas plus 2h in a gaseous state and the enthalpy change is 927 kilojoule okay now the bond enthalpy of this oh bond is either this or this the question is the bond enthalpy of oh bond is considered as a this or this therefore here actually in case of polyatomic molecules the bond enthalpy is average bond enthalpy find out the average now here 927 kilojoule for two oh bond therefore for one oh bond this divided by 2 find out the average and this is 463.5 kilojoule therefore the bond enthalpy of oh bond is 463.5 kilojoule per mole okay that is remember in case of polyatomic molecule find out the average bond enthalpy or bond enthalpy is the considered as a average bond enthalpy consider one more example of polyatomic molecule simple methane now see here methane in a gaseous state one mole decomposed into carbon in gaseous state and four hydrogen in gaseous state the change in enthalpy for this reaction is 1665 kilojoule okay actually these four bonds in methane are identical but the energy required to break this bond that is the bond enthalpy of this bond are different let us consider that now we require here four step because four bonds are available now first step here ch4 gas decomposed to ch3 gas and hydrogen gas the change in enthalpy for this reaction is 427 kilojoule the next ch3 gas that is second step gives ch2 gas plus this h gas the change in enthalpy 
is 439 kilo joule. Then at CH2 gas, that is the third state, decompose to form CH gas, H gas, change in enthalpy is 452 kilo joule. And the last one that is CH gas converted into C gas plus this H gas. The change in enthalpy for this is 347 kilo joule. Okay, that is first one, second one, third, fourth, like this break. Now the total as it is formed, it reacts. As it is formed, it reacts. As this form, it reacts. Therefore, now here CH4 gas gives with this C gas plus this four hydrogen in a gaseous state. Now the change in enthalpy for this is 1665 kilo joule. Now I already told you that for polyatomic molecule, the consider average bond enthalpy. Now this much energy is required to break 4 CH bonds. Therefore for 1 CH bond, this is divided by 4. Therefore it is approximately 416 kilo joule. For it means that this much amount of energy that is the bond enthalpy of CH bond is 416 kilo joule per mole. Okay, this is about the polyatomic molecule. One more example for methane. Now let us see how the enthalpy change for the reaction is determined by using this bond enthalpy. Let us see what is the formula for that one. You know that during the chemical reaction bonds are broken down and formed. Okay. And you know the bond enthalpies of different covalent bond. Okay. Now by using that bond enthalpy you can determine the enthalpy of reaction. Enthalpy change of that reaction involving the molecules having covalent bond. Okay. Consider that formula. Enthalpy of the reaction is summation of bond enthalpies of reactant minus Summation of bond enthalpies of product. Okay. Now let us consider one example. Apply this formula to one reaction. Consider that reaction H2 gas. Consider a reaction containing the molecules that is involving the molecules having covalent bond. Okay. I2 gas gives 2HI gas. Now I apply this formula to this one. Enthalpy of reaction is equal to now the summation of bond enthalpies of reactant. Now for easy writing, write the this equation in the structural formula form. There it becomes easy to write this formula then. This H2, then this IR. Now here HI2. Okay. Now, we will consider this part in when you solve the numericals. Okay. Now, the reactant summation of reactant bond, that is bond enthalpy of HH bond, this one, plus bond enthalpy of II bond. Okay. Then, next products minus this. 2 into bond enthalpies of HI bond. Okay, this is the formula. And you know the bond enthalpies, bond enthalpies of different covalent bond. You know these values, then you can determine the 
enthalpy change of this reaction okay from the bond enthalpy now in today's session you study what is meant by bond enthalpy then the bond enthalpy for diatomic molecule then for polyatomic molecule and how bond enthalpy is useful to determine the enthalpy of the reaction let us consider now homework on this part and in the next session we will see the numerical based on this part okay here for homework only one question define bond enthalpy in next session we will see the numerical based on bond enthalpy from the exercise questions from our textbook okay